the power of now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's the now the third person to get stuck in the snowbank today. What is going on everyone? It is Hayden here, and today I'm talking to you about a mindset video. Specifically, I'm talking about a book called The Power of Now. Now, the honest to God truth is I got completely tired of making videos inside. I was going bat crazy today. We got a shit ton of snow, as you can see. This is at the end of my driveway, and it is literally, you know, nearly my height. So I thought that it'd be a great excuse to go outside and actually shoot myself a video today. Okay, so one thing that I find with a lot of entrepreneurs, actually a lot of people in general, I don't even know why I'm saying entrepreneurs, pretty much everybody, we are stuck in our heads all day long and we don't even realize it. And I didn't realize it either really until I started to get into more of the meditation and more mindset that really was able to bring me out of just being stuck in my head all the time and understanding really what was important in life. And I know that sounds a little bit corny. Everybody says this is what's important in life and da, 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 da. The honest to God truth is we're always stuck in the past or the future and we really let those two things decide who we are in this moment, but we never actually control who we are in this moment. Now I get it, that sounds really freaking confusing. What do I mean by that? Why is the tripod on such angle? These are all questions that I have too. There we go. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that a lot of times, for example, I'll look on my YouTube comments, guys, I do see what you're saying, and I'll see a lot of people comment if I mention like Tanner Fox or Ryan Hill Joth, I'll have people freak out, they're like, don't mention them, don't want to, I don't want you associated with them, don't say their name, this is all the things that they did, and I think to myself, I'm like, man, like that was over a year ago and you guys are still on this. Like you don't want anything to be mentioned. You guys are, 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 I'm not blaming all of you. I'm just trying to give an example here. So caught up in what happened in the past. You're not even focused in what's going on right now. Imagine instead of focusing on that. Instead you actually just listened to the video that I made and you decided, hey, I'm gonna take notes on this. I'm gonna listen to exactly what he's saying right now and I'm not gonna think about what happened in the past. I'm gonna focus on what I'm doing right here, right now. But instead, you get caught up in the past and then you start freaking out about things that are completely irrelevant. You can't change what happened. It doesn't matter anymore. We're past it. Or imagine if right now you decided that you aren't gonna let anything that happened in your past affect who you are today. Imagine if you just decided that you're gonna be whoever it is that you wanted to be, whoever it is who you think that you truly are on the inside. You decided right now, that's who you are. I also don't want people to be focusing on the future. And I don't mean not setting goals. What I mean by that is not focusing on things that are in the future and depending on them to make you happy. Like, let's face it, if you aren't happy today, if you get that Lamborghini tomorrow, it doesn't mean you're actually gonna be happy. You might be happy for a short period of time, but that's gonna slowly wear off and you're gonna strive for the next thing to fill that gap. If you're not internally happy with yourself, you'll never be truly happy with your business, you'll never be truly happy in your relationships, and you'll never be truly happy with what you have around you. The whole point of the power of now is to be, well, in the now, to actually care about what's going on right now, to be focused on what you're doing at this very instant. For example, you're watching this YouTube video right now. You don't need to worry about what happened earlier today. You don't need to worry about what's gonna happen later today. All you need to worry about is what you're doing right now. Focus on what you're doing right now. Focus on your breathing. What are you doing? How do you feel right now? Focus on these things on a regular basis. Start to get more in tune with yourself. Understand who you are. That's gonna slowly help you actually build your business more. It's gonna help you build your personal relationships more, your business relationships. It's gonna help you become happier and overall, you're gonna increase your wealth along with all these things. Another thing that they talk about in the book is ego, letting go of your ego. Let's face it, every single decision, this is something actually I learned in sales and marketing books that I've read. Ego is our main driver, so no matter what we do, that is our driver. At the end of the day, you very likely don't actually want to be rich just because you want financial freedom. You wanna be rich because it gives you a status update. You wanna be rich because that way you can buy that Ferrari and show off to everybody and prove everybody wrong. But it doesn't actually matter. Let's face it, you can have all the money in the world and still be extremely unhappy. I know what you're thinking, only the rich ever say this. Money doesn't buy happiness. But then when you're poor, all you can think about is how much money would save you from where you are and make your life better. These things are true, but there's a fine balance in between. There was a study done that I believe it showed anybody who makes an income between, I think it was 70,000 to 100,000, anything above that income 
their happiness didn't increase whatsoever. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't, you know, plan for the future. You shouldn't actually become somewhat financially free and that you should at least have some sort of savings in your account. I don't believe that you can ever really be happy if you're always worried about money. But at the same time, once you reach a certain point, I don't think it really matters anymore. What I would really like from a lot of you guys is just to stop focusing so much on the monetary gains and start focusing on why you're doing what it is that you're doing. Why do you want financial freedom? Is it just to ease your ego? Because I've been there. The best example I have of this is when I bought my Land Rover. At the end of the day, I didn't need a Land Rover. I could have bought any midsize SUV or really a small car like I have now. But instead, I chose to buy a Land Rover because it gave me an economic status. That way, when I rolled up somewhere, somebody already knew, oh, he's driving a Land Rover. He's got money. But as time went on, this Land Rover cost me a lot of money. It was stupidly expensive on gas. It was really expensive to fix. And it was just a stupid thing to own. It didn't bring me actual joy. All it really did was, well, it fed my ego. The truth is now I drive a lovely small car that's compact and really fuel efficient. And the reason for this is, well, for one, I did start to care a lot more about the environment over the past year and stopped worrying about what I owned and instead started worrying about other creatures and the, and the planet itself. But on top of that, I realized that why would I spend all this money on repairs and on gas when I could be spending it on better business ventures. Why would I worry about what I'm driving when it doesn't actually matter? As long as my car is safe and gets me from A to B and fits my family, it doesn't matter. Wow. Darby, do you think I'm any less, you look so hot today. Do you think I'm any less attractive because I don't drive a Land Rover anymore? No. Are you more attracted to me because we no longer spend hundreds of dollars on gas each week? Hell yeah. So if you are feeling frustrated, if you're feeling as if you can never achieve whatever it is that you've been trying to achieve for so long, I would really recommend reading this book because I think that it's gonna help you out quite a bit. It helped me really understand who I was and just be happy with who I was in the now. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up on the like button down below. Also comment down below, what is it that you feel as if you are using to feed your ego? Is there something out there that you do on a regular basis that you think is really just ego driven or do you actually care about the thing? I would love to know. Anyway guys, I wanna thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>